many of the boys hail from the sleepy district of May Sai, near the border with Myanmar. Some were greeted with hugs, tears and smiles from waiting relatives and friends when they returned home on Wednesday. Others were blessed with water as they entered their homes. On Thursday, some of the boys and their relatives took part in religious ceremonies at May Sai's Wat Pha at Doi Lao Temple, an ancient temple with scenic views of the surrounding countryside. Reporters were not allowed close to the boys and their families at the temple to give them privacy. The last of the group of 13 were brought out of the cave last Tuesday, ending a grueling 18-day ordeal that claimed the life of Samarn Kunan, a volunteer diver and former Thai Navy SEAL who came to help with the rescue mission. Samarn died on July 6 after losing consciousness during a mission to place oxygen tanks deep inside the cave, just two days before the first boys were brought to safety. The boys had no food and survived only on water. They took turns digging at the cave walls, hoping to find a way out. This experience made me stronger and taught me not to give up, said the team's youngest member, who goes by the name Titan. The boys will eventually spend time as novice Buddhist monks to honor the dead diver's memory, their coach said on Wednesday.